Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, I am honored to participate in this extraordinary summit regarding Gaza, which is being held under the severe circumstances that Palestinian civilians and children are experiencing in Gaza as we speak right now. I would like also to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the generous hospitality and warm welcome accorded to me and my delegation since our arrival. Your Majesties, Highnesses, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening in Gaza contradicts all the norms, laws, and human values and threatens the security and the safety of the region as a whole. Today, the world and us, we cannot be silent on the ongoing destruction of Gaza. Today, the world and our peoples are watching us and are expecting us to stop the killing of the Palestinian children. This requires a unified stance from us towards achieving first and foremost an immediate ceasefire and ensuring the delivery of humanitarian aid as soon as possible as well as the release of the all hostages. All of this should be accompanied by a just resolution to the Palestinian issue or cause based on the establishment of Palestinian state within the borders of June 1964 with East Jerusalem as its capital. This is the only guarantee for the region to transition into a new era characterized by security, stability, and cooperation for the benefit of all. Today, in the 21st century, political endings cannot be achieved with violence, and violence has no place in the democratic world of today. We all have to persist and pursue to safeguard the dignity and the existence of the Palestinian people, let alone the Palestinian kids. I would like to thank you all. Thank you very much.